Hey everyone, James here over at Xamarin. I want to show you today how you can force your Xamarin Forms applications or any application to a specific landscape or portrait mode across iOS, Android, or Windows Phone. Of course, you could allow it uh, to be both as well, and that's the default implementation for Xamarin Forms. So the very first thing we're going to do is we're going to update a few files in each project. So first we'll do Android. We're going to open our main activity, and you're going to see this activity attribute. And this is really great because Xamarin uh, uses these activity attributes and different attributes throughout Android to generate the Android manifest for you automatically. The Android manifest really controls all of your Android application. It's really worth time investigating all of the different attributes that you can add uh, here. But we're going to go ahead and add a new one called orientation. That's a screen orientation. And screen orientation is what, as you would expect, forces your application to either landscape, portrait mode, or some other some other orientation, or both. Uh, so here we're just going to say screen orientation landscape. And this is going to force our entire application always to be in landscape mode. So here I'm just going to go ahead and launch this application. And I'm just going to, this is running on a real device. So it's going to go ahead and force it here and we'll connect this up. So here we go. It's already been rotated for us automatically. Now it says, uh, welcome to Xamarin Forms. Perfect. Now if I rotate and exit out of my application, we can see it rotates back. All right. Now let's take a look at iOS. So iOS, the settings are going to be in a different location. We'll set this as our startup project. What we're going to do is you don't actually have to modify any of the files inside the project. You actually want to right click on the solution and go to properties. Uh, and then underneath iOS application, this will be the same in Xamarin Studio as well, you're going to see supported device orientations. And this is controlling our info P list. Uh, so here you can see that it automatically supports portrait, landscape left, landscape right, but it has upside down turned off. So let me just turn off portrait mode. And we can now run this application on our simulator. We go ahead and old run up there. But here it automatically rotates our device, rotates our splash screen. And now we're forced into uh, landscape mode. If I even rotate the hardware left or right, it stays in landscape mode for me. There we go. All right, last but not least is Windows Phone. So Windows Phone is interesting. Uh, you have to change a few uh, different files. So let me go ahead and change this to any CPU. You're going to open up your main page.xaml, and we're going to see that the XAML already has two flags in it. It has supported orientations as portrait and orientation portrait. We're going to go ahead and change that to landscape. There we go. And we're going to see our designer automatically update. Now, the Xamarin Forms templates actually set a supported orientations flag in the main page.xaml.cs. Now, you could go ahead and set this to always be landscape. Uh, or you could just delete it completely. And that way it'll automatically get picked up by the XAML at runtime. So let's go ahead and start this now in our Windows Phone uh, emulator. There we go. Now it automatically says welcome to Xamarin Forms. If I rotate the device, it always stays in landscape mode automatically. And there you have it with just a few different flags. You can force your application into portrait, landscape, or landscape and portrait.